So let's take a look at how you can set up Orient DB on Windows 10. Okay. So the first thing that we are going to do is going to orientdb.org website and here I'm going to click on this download button. Okay. Now after clicking this download button, we will get options to download one of the zip installer. Okay, so in case you can use this ORNDB zip file for any OS of your choice. You can also use uh, Windows option. Basically, both these will work just fine. Okay. Now, after you extract this zip file, you will have set up something like this. Okay. Now, you can choose to include this bin folder in your Windows system path. Okay, so for that you can simply copy this address and just go for search, check environment variables, click on open and that should open this window, go to path, click on edit. Okay, now here you can simply click on new and add that path to bin. Okay, so that should allow you to run your server.bat file from any directory or drive okay so what i'm going to do is going to open command prompt okay so next thing would be to go to let's see this directory then go to this bin directory okay now what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to server dot bat okay it should show you screen something like this okay make sure that you have java installed on your system otherwise it could throw some sort of an error okay and once the server is running it should show you that message at the end here something like you can go to uh, localhost 2480 so we are going to do that so we are going to check localhost 2480 okay that should take you to this ondb studio page and let's just wait till it properly loads to ondb okay so this is the dashboard that loads if you can see this screen that means you have your ondb properly installed on windows 10 operating system so let's take a look at how you can log into ondb studio on windows 10 okay so i have started orient db by simply downloading the zip drive and then extracting and then going to bin directory and starting this windows batch file server.bat okay that should show you screen something like this okay and at the end it should give you message that server is started okay so you will have something like this it will also show you at which URL you are supposed to open ONDB Studio. So this is localhost and 2480 port. So I open that. It should show you screen something like this. Now you will see you have one default database named DemoDB. Here you can create new database if you want, or you can sync it or import a public database. You can also del delete or drop the selected database. Okay, now here you have this user and password. Okay, now by default, you can enter this password at the time of setting up or NDB, or you can go to your config folder. And here you have this server config file. You can open this in Visual Studio Code or any other text editor and go to users part of this configuration and add your own username and password. 
now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let's see use root and then add one password which I added in that configs file okay this should log you in to OrienDB dashboard okay if you can see this screen that means you have managed to log into OrienDB studio so let's take a look at how you can create a new database in OrienDB using OrienDB studio so first thing would be to open command prompt and then go to the bin directory for OrienDB like the directory where you have extracted the content of OrienDB server and then start the server.pat it should start the OrienDB service in the background you can also access database on localhost 2480 okay that should show you page something like this now here I can use existing database called demo DB and then use my username and password and also I can click on this create new database option to create new database through in DB studio there is also import public database which I will take a look at later okay so click on create new database button here with new DB then you can name your database let's say my DB is the name let's add some server password okay let me add that then you have advanced option can choose between graph and document I'm on I want to choose document instead of graph storage type you can choose local storage or memory I'm going to choose P local and then create database okay so after that let's wait for the message that database is created now once the database is created you will be taken to this query editor and there won't be anything within schema and graph okay so how to add documents into that database i will take a look at that part later okay so let's take a look at how to run queries in graph editor of rndb studio okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start orndb server by starting this server.pat from bin folder okay now next thing would be to open orndb studio in localhost colon 2480 okay now it should open with your username and password with the default database that you have selected now here you can click on graph tab okay okay it may ask me to log in again because often what happens is the session time out. okay now here in this graph editor so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to simply type in let's say select all from and then tilt check for profiles right so that should show all the record from profiles table okay. click on this run query and that should show you the basic profiles graph okay so if I click on each one of that it should also show me the options or see properties with the data Again, this specific person is female and her name is Blanche. Next would be to Jordan El Nora. Okay. Similarly, you can check the all other available entries. So you get the idea how to run queries in graph editor of OrienDB Studio. 
Okay, so let's take a look at how you can run queries in our NDB Studio. So what we're going to do is we are going to first start our ORNDB server.bat. Okay, I move to this ORNDB bin directory and run this server.bat. After that, I have opened one tab on Chrome, okay, which opens localhost to 480 or in DB Studio. So, okay. So this is 2480 is the port where you can access this or in DB Studio. Okay. By default, the database is demo DB. So this is the database on which I'm going to run the query. So I'm going to use my username root, right? And then password. Then I'm going to press connect button. So it will take some time to connect. Now, once you logged into OrinDB Studio, you will find this query editor. Okay, you can also browse through your database schema. Okay, here you will see the classes. Okay, and you can also check the graph. Okay, now here you can run the queries related to your graph. If you want to run queries related to purely database you can use the default query editor on your or ndb studio so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run basic query with select keyword then i'm going to hit enter and some space let's say i'm going to use first column name then i'm going to use surname okay then i'm going to call for from then tilde profiles tilde again and let's limit this up to let's say eight rows okay then i'm gonna hit run which should hopefully uh, show us the name and surname from the profiles Okay, now here you see the query returns totally eight rows for name and surname. And here you can see this is just pure random randomly generated data and stored it in profiles table. Okay, so here you can go ahead and add additional limit or you can also modify your query to make this ascending descending based on alphabet okay so that part should go before your uh, limit okay so that being said you get the idea where to run your orndb queries in orndb studio okay so let's take a look at how you can create class in orndb okay so we are going to use orndb studio which you can start simply by going to server.bat from the bean directory of ONDB. Okay. Next would be to open a tab in your browser. Go to localhost 2480 port. Okay. That should show you your database. Okay. You can choose your multiple database from that. In my case, it's MyDB. Okay. Now here in the query, I'm going to enter a query to create a okay? game and then those classes will be visible in schema okay now here you can see I have used classes user classes which are let's say in generic I have student so you can access through that okay so if I create class in this query editor it should be visible there so let's take a look at that part okay now to create class in query editor simply type in create class and then let's say add worker okay if you run this that should create a class okay and it's visible below okay next would be to create a property for this class so we use all caps create property then we use worker dot 
name and it should be string so let's have some space and then string okay that should add property to our worker name okay so similarly i want to add one more so let's type in worker dot surname and then string again okay now if you hit enter or run that should create one more property okay now if we go to schema and then check the user classes you can find in generic classes you will find worker and if you check the properties you will have these two name and surname added you can continue to add more properties into this depending on how you want your class structure but you get the idea how you can create a class in OrienDB. how you can save that you can drop that or even add new record through GUI instead of query editor okay so if you continue to add a new record it will be added for both surname and name okay so we get the idea how to create class in OrienDB. in or in db